Well, hello friends, Julia Simpson here, Kia Babies brand spokesperson, and I am so happy to be back with you for another Amazon Live. Um, today we are going to be talking about one of our most favorite treasured times in the Simpson household. Um, and if you can't guess from the little props I have here, uh, we are going to be talking about bath time. So my 11 month old daughter, Sophia, absolutely adores bath time. Um, like I said, it's one of our favorite times in the house. It's just a very fun bonding um, time that we can have together in the evenings. It is a great time that my husband who is working all day um, gets to spend with our daughter. And a lot of times he just completely takes over bath time um, because I you know, have had the privilege of plenty of uninterrupted time with her during the day. And uh, it's, it's his one-on-one -on -one time with her and just a chance for me to get some things done, get dinner cleaned up, um, get Sophia's pajamas pulled out, get her bottle made before I actually go back and rock her to sleep at night. Um, so yes, I wanted to share with you two Kia Babies products that uh, have made bath time infinitely more enjoyable. Um, I'm absolutely in love with these products. They are the bamboo baby washcloths and the bamboo hooded towels. Um, so excited to just give you the rundown on these two things. Um, also give you some bath time tips. Um, let's get into it. Uh, before I get too far, um, I want to let you know about a promotion that we are running as a thank you for tuning in with us here on Amazon Live. Um, we want to give you a discount uh, if you shop these items today. You can shop them right here. Uh, just beneath this video, you'll see a banner um, that kind of describes the promotion. You want to hit the claim button and that will send a discount right to your cart. Uh, that will be automatically applied at checkout. So you wanna go ahead and complete your transaction um, so that you get that discount applied and the you know money taken off at the end. Uh, now, because this is an Amazon Live promotion, um, this offer is only valid for up to one hour past the end of this live video. So if you're not already following us here on Amazon Live, um, go ahead and do that. Give us a follow so you never miss one of these super fun hangout sessions. Um, we're going to continue running promotions. And if you miss this one, you know, I want you to be able to take advantage of the next one. Um, so please go ahead and do that. And remember that the offer is only valid for one hour following the end of this video. Okay, now um, I typically like to uh, start off with an unboxing and that is simply because I'm a packaging nerd. Um, I especially love Kia Baby's packaging. I think their branding is fantastic. Um, I, I'm a sucker for a super cute package. And um, I also just want you to know what to expect when you order a product from us um, and let you know about the sweet little surprises that are always inside. So I'm gonna show you this here are the washcloths. This is the item we're gonna be talking about first. Um, these are just the plain white. And as you can see, lots of color options here. We'll go over those a little bit. Um, I want to just make you aware of some things on the back of the box. You've got information about your washcloths. They are highly absorbent, ultra soft, hypoallergenic, and all natural. Um, and I always like to point out, uh, here's how you can reach us on our socials. So please don't overlook this. We're on Facebook, we are on YouTube, we are on Instagram, and we are on Pinterest. And especially over on Instagram, we are constantly having fun hangouts, sharing our photos, sharing our experiences with the product. Um, and we have lots of fun giveaways and things like that. So you don't wanna miss that stuff. So please also go join us on Instagram. So let's open this up. And inside you'll find this sweet little goodie here. It is a piece of Kia Babies branding that I absolutely love. I have a ton of these around my house. Um, it is a bookmark that says, I am a proud parent. I sing lullabies every night. I wipe away tears. I clean poop and change diapers. I get peed and vomited on. I conquer sleepless nights. I am a hashtag Kia parent. So please don't throw your packaging away without pulling out that sweet little thank you for shopping with the brand. Um, so set that aside and let me just pull one of these out. 
because I honestly just want to feel it. I want to feel it in my hands. It is so, so silky soft. Um, here's a close up of what it looks like. Obviously, it's been folded up in the package. Um, beautiful, beautiful fibers here. I'll give you a close up there. I just want you to look at like how thick and plush that is. That is going to make this so, so comfortable on baby skin. So let's actually talk about this a little bit. Um, as I said, this is like one of the softest washcloths on the planet. Um, I just love, love feeling it. And that is because it is made from premium bamboo. Uh, now that's really important. I love that Kia Babies chose bamboo for both their towel and their washcloth. And just really quickly, I wanna talk about bamboo as a plant and why it is such a great material um, for items like this. Why you should be incorporating more bamboo into your home and into your routine, especially uh, with products that you'll be using for baby and on baby skin. So um, bamboo is actually one of the fastest growing plants on the planet. So it is constantly in a state of replenishing itself. Um, a bamboo plant can actually grow up to three feet in one day. So um, it's, it's ever renewing. Um, it is not currently an endangered plant and it is not over harvested. So you can feel really, really good about your ecological footprint when you use something that's made from bamboo. Speaking of that, um, for soft products like this, uh, those are typically made from cuttings from the bamboo plant, which means like as opposed to lots of other trees um, that are used in the manufacturing of products, the entire plant or tree doesn't have to be raised from the ground. It doesn't have to be demolished entirely and then planted from just a seed to start all over again. Um, you can just take clippings from a bamboo plant and leave the actual plant in place and still manufacture your product. So that's super awesome. Um, bamboo fibers are incredibly strong. Um, the wood from a bamboo plant is very, very strong. It's a very popular wood for floors, for bed frames, for things like that. Um, in lots of other other cultures outside of the of the West, um, and it's you know gaining a lot of traction here in Western culture as well. Um, but since it is such a strong fiber, anything made from bamboo is going to be super super durable. I can attest to that with these. Um, you're going to get a lot of use out of it. Um, it's going to last you a long time. It's going to have a lot of longevity. So we love that for any product that we're consuming. I want it to have a long life. Um, the bamboo plant actually requires less water comparatively to something like cotton. Um, so we all know that water is a very precious um, and important resource. Um, and so, you know, the harvesting of bamboo is much less of a drain on that precious resource. Uh, so that's super cool. And then something that just blows my mind is that bamboo is actually naturally antimicrobial. So that makes this an excellent material for things that you are going to use on your skin, things that you are going to use on baby skin, um, for things like toothbrushes and even kitchenware utensils and things like that. Um, now, obviously, to you know keep these in the best condition possible, um, you want to be washing your bamboo items just like normal. Um, these are machine washable and you want to keep everything super clean and sanitary, but um, the bamboo fiber itself is, again, naturally antimicrobial, antibacterial. So super, super neat. Um, again, love the Kia Babies. Um, chose bamboo as the fiber for these things. I think, I think it's a perfect choice. Um, so not only are these incredibly soft, which is very important because babies have extremely delicate skin, newborns especially, but even my 11 month old, um, Sophia, she, we're still dealing with very sensitive skin on her body as well. I have to be very um, careful and conscious of what comes in contact with her skin. Um, she's also prone to eczema flares, and now um, I am not a pediatrician, but I will say that something that helped us kind of contain those flares um, and start to soothe her eczema was when I started trading out abrasive products like our towels and washcloths for softer materials like bamboo. So, it, you know, if you're dealing with something like eczema, cradle cap, you know, things like that, um, these washcloths are actually going to be a great, great choice for your baby. Um, they're not going to add to the irritation. In fact, they can help soothe it and make it better. Um, yes, yeah, so that's very important. Um, 
they are made with a special durable lining and i just want to show you up close again this lining absolutely no fraying on these edges um, when you machine wash these they are made to stand up to a lot of uses they are made to stand up to a lot of washes again they are machine washable um, so it's going to make laundry super easy although these come in a six pack so you know most of us are not bathing baby every day uh, so these are actually going to get you through quite a few bath times before you even have to run a load of laundry. So you're going to be cutting down on the amount of laundry that you're doing, uh, which is great. They are sized large at 10 by 10. You can see, I would say that for a baby washcloth, this is definitely um, on the larger side, which is great because it means that you can cover a lot more area as your bathing baby. Um, and you know, it fits great in and over your hand uh, for easy bathing, but also these are going to, you know, continue to be acceptable to use when baby is a toddler and then even a child. In fact, these are great for adult use. Um, now I am all about, you know, cutting down on unnecessary products. I know baby stuff accumulates so quickly. Baby stuff can get expensive. I, I'm totally aware of that. Um, so, you know, you may be asking, well, you know, do I need baby washcloths really? Like I have washcloths that I use on my own body. Um, can I just use those? And I will say, um, that for something like a washcloth, you do ideally want to be using something that is designed with baby skin in mind. So back to my previous point of babies having really sensitive skin. So newborns actually come home kind of covered in a waxy substance called vernix. Um, in case you're expecting um, or you are not yet a parent and you're not aware of this, um, don't worry about that white cheesy stuff. It is actually in place to, it helped protect baby's skin from all of the amniotic fluid um, that they were soaking in for the last nine months. And not all babies have shed it by the time that they're born or even the time that they come home from the hospital. Um, and so you want to be very delicate when you are bathing that stuff once baby is able to have a bath, if they do still have some vernix. Um, because you can very easily kind of take with it that upper layer of baby skin. Um, and now babies are shedding um, a, a lot of skin in the beginning. Uh, their skin is kind of going through the normal shedding life cycle that we all have for the rest of our lives. Um, but newborns especially are kind of shedding that skin at a more rapid rate um, just because this is the first time their skin has been exposed to the world, to air, um, you know, to water other than your amniotic fluid, um, to different, uh, you know, difference in temperatures and things like that. So yes, baby skin is not like adult skin. Um, it does not need like exfoliation. I know a lot of us like to use our, you know, our scrubs, our loofahs, our exfoliating products and, and babies kind of need the opposite of that. Like their skin needs a lot of TLC. So I would highly suggest that you invest in some actual baby washcloths. And so again, the reason I love this size and just how durable these are is that these are perfectly acceptable for adults to use, right? Like, so that's how you can cut down on your unnecessary amount of products. Just use baby washcloths, right? Like these can just be the family washcloths and you know that they're safe for newborn all the way up to um, to mom and dad. So uh, speaking of that, I did want to just name a few of my favorite uses for these aside from bathing baby, um, which is their obvious use. So these are fantastic for makeup removal. Um, now, personally, I would suggest not using, if you are someone that wears makeup daily, um, colored makeup as I'm wearing right now, uh, I would ideally not use the white um, but what's great is that these come in a variety of colors, as you can see here, this nice baby blue, um, a gray, a yellow, a pink, and an earth brown. I'm a super big fan of these earthy tones, especially. Um, but yes, these make great makeup removing cloths because, you know, we need to be taking really good care of the delicate skin on our face. Think of your facial skin kind of like your baby skin. Um, so you don't want to be using anything super abrasive on it. Uh, so this is a great option for removing makeup at the end of the day. Um, throw these in a gym bag. So if you uh, go and work out during the day and you get sweaty and you don't have time for a shower, but you need just like a quick wipe down, um, to get the, the sweat and the grime off, 
These are an excellent option for that. You can just do a quick wipe down. Um, you know, I use these. I am not a, currently a member of a gym because I just don't have the time. Um, but you know, I try to get outside with Sophia as much as I can. Uh, we go for you know long walks. We go for jogs. And it is like 90 degrees here right now where I live. So I love just having some of these around uh, to quickly kind of wipe myself down when I come in. And then I don't feel so gross. So that's a great use for these. Um, you could keep a stack of these in a guest bathroom to, for them to use as guest towels. Um, I know right now we're still in the midst of a pandemic and hopefully anyone that's coming into your house is someone that you obviously feel very comfortable um, with their COVID status. Um, or maybe they're vaccinated, uh, but you know, maybe we don't want to right now be kind of reusing hand towels to like dry our hands um, in our guest bathroom after we've washed them. So just keep a stack of these and maybe a little hamper nearby. And so that way these are just one time use uh, for your guests. They throw them in a hamper and then, you know, you just wash them and reuse. So uh, they're you know super soft, they feel very nice and high end, so that's gonna be a nice touch in a guest bathroom. Um, if you have a baby who suffers from reflux and spits up a lot, which I had, um, luckily we're past that now, or even just a baby who kind of dribbles milk um, during feedings and they're getting you know wet and soppy and like you're getting wet, um, you can actually roll one of these up and just real gently tuck it under baby's chin here um, as they're feeding. And it's gonna catch all of that excess milk, that excess drool, that kind of stuff. Um, and it's gonna keep baby's skin nice and dry, which is great for their skin. Um, and it's gonna keep their outfit nice and dry. So that's an excellent use for these. Um, and then finally, uh, kind of an unexpected use, um, use these as a cold teether. Now, the way you would do that is you would just wet one of these, uh, roll it up just like I just did for placing under baby's chin. Love, love, love this trick because we are in the midst of teething with my daughter right now. Uh, put them in the freezer, let them get nice and cold, and you pull it out, hand it to baby, and they can hold on to it themselves, you know, and just toddle around, crawl around, chewing on this. It feels so, so good and soothing on their little gums. But because it is a soft material, it is safe for those gums. It's not abrasive. It's not going to cut them up. Um, it is, you know, safe for any little teeth that they might be growing. Um, it's not going to break a tooth. And uh, because it is a large item, it's not a choking hazard. So this is so great for baby to suck on or chew on uh, when they are teething. So those are some of my personal favorite uses for these. Um, of course, they are my absolute favorite thing to bathe baby with. As I said, I take my makeup off with them at night. Um, I love the selection of colors. So please check these out. They make great baby shower gifts. Every, every, every new parent is going to bathe their baby eventually. It's something that we do uh, quite frequently. So, you know, um, bath items always make an excellent gift. So if you wanna get your hands on these and you don't wanna pay full price, um, we are running an Amazon Live promotion. So as a thank you for tuning in with us, and I will repeat this a couple of times just in case people are, you know, just jumping in and joining us now. I don't want anyone to miss it. Um, you can click the claim button on the banner just beneath this video, and that will send a discount to your cart that will automatically apply at checkout. Um, now you will need to actually hit click um, add to cart and complete your transaction. Uh, you have up until one hour past the end of this video. Again, this is an Amazon Live promotion. It is a thank you for hanging out and not missing one of our videos. Um, so yes, it will only be live for one hour following the end of this video. So you can either shop now, go ahead and complete your transaction, get that discount, just know that you have it. Um, or, uh, if you want to hang out for the rest of this video, which I would love, you are welcome to do. Um, you, if you want to listen to us talk about the hooded towels, which you also need in your life, um, that's totally cool. Just make sure you have completed your purchase within one hour of the end of this live stream. Okay, so let's talk about these cutie patootie, like can you even, bamboo hooded towels. So, um, God, I'm just in love with these. 
I'm just in love with these. Uh, again, these are made from premium bamboo. So if you have been with us from the beginning when we were just talking about the bamboo washcloths, all of the same benefits. Um, if you are just joining us, let me recap really quickly why I love bamboo, why you should love it, and why you need more bamboo items in your collection, your baby collection. Um, so bamboo is incredibly soft. It is like one of the softest fibers. These feel like absolute butter. I actually sleep with a bamboo pillow at night. Bamboo is super durable. So anything that you use that is made from bamboo, it, you're going to get a lot of use out of it. Um, it's going to have a long, long life. Um, it's going to stand up to multiple uses and uh, being machine washed. Uh, what else? So bamboo is naturally antimicrobial. Um, so that's amazing for anything that you're going to be using on your skin, especially on baby skin, anything that you're going to be using in your mouth, like a toothbrush, um, or even for kitchenware and kitchen utensils. Um, bamboo is ecologically friendly. It requires less water than plants like cotton. Um, the entire plant does not have to be um, cut down in order to utilize parts of the plant needed for manufacturing products like this. Um, and it is also um, one of the fastest replenishing plants on the planet. So one bamboo plant can grow up to three feet a day. Uh, so it is not currently endangered. It is not over harvested. So you can feel really good about using products that are made from bamboo. Bamboo is extremely sustainable. So if that is important to you, I know it's important to me um, and it's clearly important to the Kia Babies brand. Um, just know that bamboo is an excellent option. So that's one thing, one thing you can take off of your mind. Um, so let's talk about these towels now um this is my favorite and it's the lamb i am a complete sucker for anything that makes baby look like an animal for anything that makes um it look like baby has a crazy hairdo and for anything that makes it look like baby has a full set of teeth like those funny pacifiers it's a personality quirk it's like one of my greatest joys in life um, so my first favorite thing about this towel is just how stinking cute it is, right? Like it fits the animal bill and this is the lamb version and I think it's my favorite, which is why I have it displayed here for you. Um, let me roll in my handy dandy little garment rack um, so that I can show you a couple of other options that this comes in. Because they're all so stinking sweet. These are like my little towel ghosts. Um, but I just wanted you to see, um, I'll show you an up close in just a second, um, but we've got little bunny and a bear and uh, this is another one of the little bunnies. So just so, so cute. Um, yes, so these are soft, thick, durable, extremely absorbent. That's something I definitely want to talk about and how important that is. Um, so when baby is getting out of the bath, uh, they have a harder time regulating their body temperature, um, than adults do. And that's not just for newborns that, you know, continues for older babies as well. Um, so you want to make sure that as soon as you pull baby out of the bath, they are wrapped up nice and snug, um, and that they, you know, have, have, uh, protection from the, the cold. Um, you want to keep them nice and warm and cozy. That's also going to make for a much happier baby um, who probably didn't want to get out of the bath. They weren't ready for bath time to be over, but uh, you know they have to get out eventually and that's life. Um, so that's why it's so fantastic that these are um, as thick and, and warm as they are. Um, the hood, it, again, is going to help protect uh, heat loss through baby's head. So. The head is actually where babies lose a majority of their body heat, um, which is why newborns uh, are, wear the little caps when they first come out in the hospital, those little beanie caps. Um, and when baby skin is wet, as that moisture evaporates into the air, it's actually taking some of baby's body heat with it. Um, so again, baby can get super, super chilled right out of the bath. So you want to Plop the hood over the head, make sure the head is nice and covered. Um, this is a great size. This is um, size large at 35 by 35. So you can use this all the way from newborn up to around age six or so. 
Um, so, you know, think of this as a long-term investment. You're gonna get a lot of use out of this, um, a lot of mileage out of these hooded towels. Um, it makes drying baby's hair super easy. So I don't even have to, you know, when I get my daughter Sophia out of the bath, um, we plop the hood over her head and just kind of give it a little pat like this. And this just instantly absorbs all of that moisture from the hair. And I don't have to kind of be tugging on her towel or readjusting it um, and unwrapping her in order to then dry her hair, which is amazing. So she just stays nice and snug and cozy while I do that. Um, because these are so absorbent, uh, you don't have to vigorously rub to get baby dry. So again, babies have much more delicate skin than we do. So please don't vigorously rub. Um, again, with these, you don't have to literally just wrap them up. You might want to give them a little pat down if you want, but the towel itself is going to do all of the heavy lifting as far as drying baby off. Um, so that's really great. Uh, this is made with a durable lining. Uh, so that means it's going to stand up to lots of machine washing, which is very important. Again, you're going to get lots of use and a long life out of these, which is super important. I love that. Um, but I actually find that I don't even need to wash these after every use. Um, I, I don't know what you guys are comfortable with, but I am a towel reuser um, just because, you know, you are drying off a squeaky clean baby who has just come out of the bath, um, who, you know, is is not dirty. <laughs> um, you're giving them just a quick pat down to get the moisture off. Uh, and these actually, they dry really quickly if you let them air dry. So if your bathroom, you know, got steamy or warm during bath time, um, I would put them in a different room. Just hang them up tall, uh, let them air dry, and there is no like stinky smell, no musty, moldy, mildewy smell. Um, so you can actually use these a few times before they really need to be thrown in the laundry. So you will cut down on laundry time using these, which is fantastic. Um, what else? Uh, obviously, I mean, I talked about how cute they are. They are super Instagrammable, which, okay, let's all admit that that's important to us, right? <laughs> In this day and time as moms, I know it is to me. Um, but even just for, I know this sounds so silly, but uh, these make great, you know, baby book photos. Uh, these are such precious memories that maybe we don't even always consciously think about, you know, we kind of take something like bath time for granted, but you know, to have cute, cute photos of a time when baby could fit into a little hooded towel uh, that made them look like an animal or remember back on a time when they didn't know how to bathe themselves. I mean, you know, these moments are so precious. It all goes so, so quickly. So it's just a, another way to make bath time fun and memorable and just, um, you know, create a wonderful moment together between you and, and baby or, you know, your child. Um, so I do want to talk about bath time in general a little bit. Um, it is my daughter Sophia's absolute like favorite time in life. She is 11 months old. She's starting to learn the little tip offs of, oh, I think like bath time is coming up. If we pull out her pajamas, obviously if she hears the water in the bath uh, starting to run, she kind of knows like when um, the time of day is, you know, approaching where we usually do bath time and she will actually crawl into the bathroom all by herself, let us undress her no problem, which she usually hates um, and she just loves it. And it's a really, really fun time between the two of us. It's a really fun time between she and my husband. Um, but I will say that wasn't always the case. Um, when Sophia was a newborn, you know, all through her fourth trimester period, that kind of zero to four months old, she actually detested the bath. She did not like to be undressed. She did not like to be wet. She did not like to be cold. Um, so bath time was like one of my least favorite experiences. And so I did, you know, it did occur to me that maybe I should share some of our bath tips, which have made it infinitely more enjoyable for everyone. Um, you know, and obviously using these two products here, the bamboo washcloths and the bamboo hooded towels has contributed to that tremendously. Um, but so let's get into some of these tips. So the first tip is going to be one of those kind of 
uh, okay, like thank you for nothing kind of things, but it is, it's so true and it's so helpful to just keep in the back of your mind. So adjust your expectation of bath time, especially if you have a new baby, um, a, you know, a, a little, little newborn. Um, again, my daughter Sophia didn't initially like bath time. It's probably nothing that you are doing wrong. I know you want those super cute, sweet moments and you don't want bath time to be stressful. Um, you don't want it to cause you anxiety, but sometimes with babies, they can be finicky. That's just life. Um, they may have sensory preferences that we don't even know about. Um, you know, babies, a lot of times just, they don't like things that they're not used to, you know? So they'll need like repeated positive exposures to something for them to realize that it's a fun or enjoyable experience and, you know, something that doesn't have to be uncomfortable or scary. So just be patient, give your baby time. Um, but here are some things that you can look into. Be sure and check your water temperature. Um, so I would highly suggest um, investing in a bath time thermometer. Um, they make really fun ones. I actually have one here. It looks like a little whale. So it, it doubles as a bath toy and it will float in the bath. Um, but his belly actually uh, turns blue like the rest of him if Sophia's water is too hot. Um, so please look into getting one of those and just make sure um, that baby's water temperature is comfortable and is not causing them pain. Um, Try not to stress. I know that's easier said than done when like a, a baby task is difficult or baby is screaming their head off and you're just not sure how to help them. But babies really do feed off of our moods and emotions. So as much as you can try and keep yourself collected and under control and just get through bath time as quickly and safely as you can, um, you know, and just roll with the punches. Um, and try to always kind of incorporate bath time into a routine that baby can start to recognize um, as being like a, a solid routine that they know leads to something enjoyable. So if you wanna make it part of a bedtime routine, that's a great option, that's what we do. Um, it can, you know, baby will know that following bath, when I get through this, you know, I get something that I really love like milk um, or, you know, cuddles with my parents. I get a story read to me whatever, you know, makes your baby happy, uh, include bath time in that nice, enjoyable ritual. Um, and eventually they will get the message that hmm, bath times maybe not so bad. Uh, so that's tip number one, uh, tip number two, kind of feeding off of that. So make bath time fun, uh, you know, as early as you can, like make it a fun experience. So, um, Sophia does love bath time, but you know, sometimes she's in a cranky mood and, uh, we might get an off day where bath time isn't going super, super swimmingly. Um, and something that we do is we always try to sing a bath song, right? Like we're constantly singing, interacting with her. We like the good old tried and true. This is the way we wash our knees, you know, whatever. And we make sure that we're pointing to the body part as we sing about it. So we're also modeling language for her. So this is a great like time for her little brain to learn. Um, she's, you know, kind of bopping along with us. She is not talking obviously aside from like mama, dada and that kind of thing. Um, but she'll try to like sing along with us. Um, and it's, you know, just again, a really enjoyable, um, enriching time for the two of us. Um, or for all of us as a family, my husband included. Um, bath toys are great. Um, we love a good bath toy. Sophia loves her bath toys. I wanted to share some of my favorite options. Um, so stacking cups, uh, we actually love. So we put these in the bath and Sophia can fill them up with water, uh, pour them on herself, which actually kind of helps with the rinsing. She's like participating in her own bath time, which makes it a little easier for mom and dad. Um, but yeah, she'll put these on her head. Just, she loves picking up the water and just pouring it to see what happens. She's kind of learning about gravity as she does this, um, learning the difference between like a solid and a liquid, just she, she can play with these for the entire duration of bath. So something like this is super great. Um, she absolutely loves this color change book. So what happens is this responds to water. So when you dunk it down in the water or she touches it with her wet hands, the animals start to uh, change color. Um, and she is just absolutely obsessed with this. Now, the reason I shared these two things first is that we do use some of these little, um, your more traditional bath toys, like the little squirty, you can fill these with water and squirt the ones that have the holes in them. Um, we do use some of these in the bath occasionally. 
um, but I'm not the biggest fan of these just because I don't know if you've you know seen that viral video going around the internet but these can get really yucky inside um, because it's hard to get all of the water out completely it kind of just sits in there and festers um, and it starts to produce mold and then you don't want baby like squirting moldy water on themselves. Uh, Sophia likes to chew on her bath toys, sometimes drink a little bit of the bath water. Um, she, you know, she's certainly getting it in her mouth and you don't, you don't want um, a baby to be exposed to anything that's gonna make them sick. So if you are using these, make sure you get out as much of the water as you possibly can at the end of bath time. And then these need to be washed at least once a week. Um, we will use like white vinegar and hot water. Um, you can also use a diluted bleach, but we prefer the slightly more natural route. So uh, we clean these with vinegar. But again, we don't actually use these that often. Um, and ideally, you should really be replacing these fairly regularly. Um, which, you know, is not sustainable. So uh, that's why we, we're not super obsessed with these and why um, things like this that don't uh, collect water and just hold it um, are really, really great bath toy options. Uh, something else that we've done for Sophia, which is really fun, you could try with your baby or your toddler or small child, um, is making a non-toxic edible bath paint. Okay, so if you want to let baby get a little messy, have some sensory play, you know, you're going to be washing them off anyway. Start out bath time um, in the tub with my personal favorite um, DIY bath paint. And that is just plain Greek yogurt, which is totally safe for baby to eat if they are over six months old um, and don't have any allergies. That's very important. Um, and, you know, if you haven't introduced something like yogurt yet, uh, please talk to your pediatrician first. But uh, if yogurt is already a part of baby's diet, so some plain Greek yogurt and a few drops of food coloring, which we know is obviously edible and safe. Uh, and you can make all sorts of colors. You can just let baby paint themselves, paint the tub. It washes away instantly with a little bit of water and it doesn't stain. So um, we absolutely love doing that with Sophia. She loves it. If you've never tried that before, maybe that's an idea to make bath time more enjoyable for babe. Um, so please try it. Uh, my next tip is to involve a partner. Um, now I am blessed to be able to stay home with my daughter, Sophia, during the day. I get lots of, you know, incredible one-on-one -on -one time, um, and, you know, just sweet moments with her all day long. Uh, my husband, uh, you know, works full time during the day. He does work from a home office, but just the nature of his work, he is busy from the time he starts in the morning until he's done in the evening. Um, so bath time is actually because it happens in the evening after dinner, before bed, when he is off work and able to participate, it is a great way for him to, you know, get involved with Sophia, Sophia's daily routine, um, spend one-on-one -on -one quality time with her and give me a little bit of a break, right? It allows me to either have some me time while she's bathing um, or, you know, time to, to mark some things off of my to-do list. I can clean up after dinner. I can get, you know, all of Sophia's bedtime stuff ready, feed the pets, um, all of that good stuff. So please, if you, you know, have a similar situation in your house where one of you is the primary caregiver and due to circumstances like work, the other parent is a secondary caregiver, um, let them take over bath time. Relinquish that control and have that be um, that parent's special time with baby. Um, so yes, another tip, post bath, please, please always lotion baby um, with a Fragrance-free, preferably hypoallergenic um, baby wash, especially if baby has super sensitive skin or suffers from anything like eczema or dermatitis, fragrance-free and hypoallergenic is going to be really important. Um, but again, babies just need that extra layer of protection on the skin. Uh, their skin does tend to run dry, especially after it's been wet and is, you know, allowed to air dry. Um, so, you know, lotioning is really important after the bath. Babies also really love it. And it's a chance for you to do some baby massage, uh, which is a great bonding experience for the two of you. Uh, who doesn't love a good massage? And actually for babies, it does um, stimulate blood flow for them and helps regulate their nervous system. So especially at bedtime, um, bedtime follows bath time and you want them to start winding down and relaxing. Um, baby massage with some lotion after a bath is a wonderful, wonderful tool. Um, and then finally, take a break. Take a break from bathing. So uh, what I mean by that is, you know, again, 
baby skin is not like adult skin. It doesn't need quite as much cleansing as we tend to feel like we need as adults. Um, they're, you know, they're not uh, out and about too much during the day. They're not getting super sweaty. They're not getting super grimy or they're not exposed to like the pollution in the air as much as we might be when we're out running errands or, you know, going to work and coming back, things like that. So, uh, Babies don't actually need to be bathed every night. Now, if that's something that you enjoy doing with baby, it you know isn't has to be a part of your bedtime routine because it helps baby relax at night. That's totally fine, especially if you're using a lotion to keep their skin from drying out. Um, but it's actually good to give baby skin a break. So um, most babies only need to be bathed about three times a week and newborns can actually get away with even less than that. Um, so yes, that's one thing you can kind of take off your plate at the end of the night, uh, several times a week, uh, take a break from bathing. Okay. So those are my bath time tips. I hope you find them helpful. Um, I do want to remind you one more time that we are running an Amazon live promotion. So if you would like to shop these items and get a discount, uh, please hit the claim button in the banner below this video that will automatically apply a discount to your purchase when you check out. Uh, now, because this is an Amazon Live promotion, you have to take advantage of it within one hour of the end of this video. It is our thank you to you for hanging out with us. I hope you're following us here on Amazon Live so that you never miss one of these hangout sessions and so that you can take advantage of future promotions. Uh, please also check us out on social media, um, Instagram especially. We have a lot of fun over there. Um, we're constantly doing giveaways and just fun little things. Um, yeah, so we definitely want to see you there. And before I go, I said I would show you a close up of the other towel. So let me just do that really quickly because they're just too stinking precious. Um, here is this has bunnies and paw prints on it and the sweet little ears. And then this uh, this one is just like that one that I just showed you. So let me just show you the bear because my gosh, I'm obsessed so so sweet um yeah so who doesn't need these in their life again they're great for you uh for your personal use they make absolutely wonderful baby shower gifts um so please get your hands on one of these and you can shop right here on amazon and i think that is going to conclude our live stream today i hope to see you next time love hanging out with you as always um, so I'm going to be signing off until next time. Bye friends.